Let's face it, Franklin, we've got a big problem, congestion. Our aging infrastructure can't handle the massive loads passing through the bowels of the city. We need something to relieve the pressure on our bloated system, and we need it today. Hello, I'm Mayor Jim Stanky, and I want to tell you, the good citizens of Franklin, about a great new idea we've cooked up for you at City Hall. It's an idea we've been brewing at City Hall for quite some time, mostly because of delays from the bean counters. But after a lot of moaning and groaning and jumping up and down, we're finally ready to let this idea fly. To bring our vision to life, the city hired waste management engineer, Dr. Herb Fester. We knew if he could manage Franklin's sizable crude waste, then he'd certainly be able to handle the daily movements of its citizens. When I first heard about what the city wanted to do, I knew it would take a while to get it out, even though the idea was ripe. I kept telling people not to hold their breath while waiting for the big launch. But we're holding our breath now, Doctor. So why not break the seal and show us what you've kept bottled up there for so long? I call it the Franklin Area Rapid Transit System. Wow, that's a mouthful. How about we just call it Farts. Farts works for me. Actually, Doctor, Farts works for all of us. And here's how. The Fart system begins at the mouth of Franklin Reservoir. It then travels alongside the city's main pipeline, before working its way through the innards of downtown, and finally coming out the back end of the city and spreading to outlying regions. Now that we've cleared the air regarding Farts, Let's hear what regular Franklinites think about facing farts in their daily lives. Driving to work used to make me nauseous. The pressure of all that traffic would build up inside me till I felt like I was ready to explode. I'd shift like a maniac, leaving skid marks everywhere. But now that I know I can hop on a fart instead, I'm much more relaxed. I can feel all that pressure slowly seeping out of me. Everyone I know has gas issues. It's ridiculous. The cost really cuts into me and my budget. For once, I'd like to be able to pass the gas station without having to fill up. And now, with farts, I can do just that. It's so simple. The more I rely on farts, the less gas I have to buy. We're glad you brought up the issue of gas, Judy. Our farts run on 100% natural gas. That means you won't see any black clouds of smoke coming from our tailpipes, nor will there be any silent but deadly toxic fumes, a fact that makes our drivers happy too. Hello, I'm Jesse Gasol, and I am proud to be one of the first people to roll out farts in the city of Franklin. And let me tell you something, these farts smell good. You know, even on the inside. No stale and musty stench like you get from some of those older systems. No, sir. These farts smell like they just came out of the oven. Hot and fresh, just how I like them. Yeah. Thank you, Jesse. We'll certainly be looking out for your farts. In the meantime, let's review what farts can do for you. First, farts release pressure on your internal system. Second, farts takes care of your gas problem. And third, the fart smells will even help you breathe easier. Hey, what about us? Don't worry, Franklin University students. We haven't forgotten about you. We've made sure farts connects to the Franklin University campus connection. That sounds great, but does the fart interfere with my flex schedule? Not at all. The fart comes at times that are convenient for you. Always a full five minutes before the fuck. So I can fart and fuck too. Yes, you can. And so can we all. That's why when farts comes rumbling into town next week, we want you to give it a big Franklin welcome. We at City Hall will be holding our heads high, proud of our farts. And we hope you'll take ownership of your farts too. Paid for by the Jim Stanky Re-election Campaign Team and Unity Mission.